I felt uh, that my life had no meaning, no purpose. And I happened to drive by the little church that I would go to. It was St. John the Evangelist. And I saw people were going into the, into the church. And I thought, well, that's strange. You know, it's, it's, it was a, happened to be a Thursday. What happened to be Ho Holy Thursday? I, I parked my car, I went in, took my place in the back of the church. For the first time, everything spoke to me. Uh, and it was as if the people disappeared. And it was just me and the priest in the church. And I heard every prayer Every scripture seemed to uh, be directed to me, but at the consecration, the priest disappeared. And I knew that Jesus was on the altar. I knew it was Jesus. And I was completely in an out of time kind of an experience, uh, a peace I had never known. And somewhere along the, during that time, uh, the Lord spoke to me. And he said, very simply, he said, he said, Tony, this is the heart, come into the heart. And in that instant, I was, the desire that I had as a child, as a 12-year-old, just reawakened. The next day, I couldn't wait to get back to the church. It was Good Friday. And I went into the church and it was empty. People were there, but it was as if nothing else, no, no presence of God, no sense of God. And so I thought, well, maybe that was a figment of my imagination. Jesus isn't here. So what happened the night before? As I went to the cross, I saw Our, Our Lady. With the eyes of the soul. And she didn't, uh, didn't say anything, but it was the... the the sorrow, and she didn't, she looked at me and she then pointed to the cross. And I knew, ah, then I understood. Uh, and so the next day, Easter, I just knew I would be a priest. But I went to the seminary just for a weekend, for three days. And I hated it. I, I went there and I just absolutely hated it. I didn't like it. Uh, and so I just endured the weekend. And then I was waiting in the parlor uh, for somebody to pick me up and take me to the airport. And I noticed there were these uh, brochures, these books on the coffee table. I just happened to pick one up and I open it. And there's the Church of St. Hyacinth's in Chicago, uh, and it took me back immediately to when I was 12 years old, kneeling in that church and begging God, make me a priest in this church. And the desire, again, reawakened. And uh, within a year, I entered the seminary. Uh, to this day, I thank God uh, for the gift of uh, my priestly uh, vocation. I don't think the Lord could have given me uh, a greater gift, a greater gift. <laughs>